think the reality is because the people on the ground delivering and doing messy church tend to be lay people. They tend to need encouragement and they tend to lack confidence at time and not necessarily believe that they can do things. So I think there's something that the church needs to do in looking at how they can equip messy leaders, but equip them in a way that works for them. And part of that is actually equipping with time because messy leaders tend to be time poor. And we really need to ask the difficult question of what if those involved in leading messy churches stop doing all of the other things that they do in churches so that they could concentrate on their messy church particularly with issues of discipleship, people tend to be very busy and it's one of the things they will say, well, I don't have time to do this. So we need to really stop and think, how can we equip people, but in a way that's relevant to them and doesn't try and make them fit into a ready-made mould? We need to really look afresh and rethink it and think, what is it that we need to do? How can we support them? How can we formally recognise this ministry, the validity of the ministry, and actually equip people to do something that God is calling them to do? Mm -hmm.